Welcome to Black as Widow Tarot. I am your girl. I am your lovely host, Nadi. You already knew. This is going to be your general message collective. And we're going to see what's going on. Like we normally do. We're going to light this Palo Santo and see what's in the ethers when it comes to you. Gotta come to your prayer since you open up my third eye for the collective. Show me everything that's going on behind the scenes. Also ask that any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me or throw me off, I ask that you kindly escort them back to hell. Amen. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. I'm hearing nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. And that's a good thing. That's the that is the mindset that you need to continue to have. Keep focusing on you, keep working on yourself, and keep moving up. What does the collector need to know? Keep moving up. You have not only let go of somebody who was holding you back from what you really could have been focused on, which was your money. This person didn't have no money. So really they were just truly holding you back. Or this is a second story. Somebody is currently about to get divorced and will be out of a lot of money. Or you may end up getting some money. Take it for your story only. What does the collector need to know? What does the collect? And let go of overspending. You can't come up if you're spending all of your come up. What does the collector need to know? Somebody's manifesting you. You're manifesting new things in your life. What does the collector need to know? What does the collector need to know? Somebody's manifesting you. You have let this person go. This is somebody that you have dealt with in your past. This may be your ex. This is somebody that God is keeping you from trying to keep this person from. This person don't deserve you. This is somebody who is about to be divorced or about to be single. They're currently going through a breakup or in the process of breaking up anyway this is an aries leo or sagittarius this is somebody who may be um going through financial problems but this person is obsessed with you is still in love with you does want a family with you wants to confess their feelings for you but this person is dealing with somebody is the reason why they cannot come with you come to you yeah or you may be dealing with somebody and you're just moving on Let's see this person's hidden truth. What's this person's hidden truth? That they love you. And they regret lying to you. For some of you all, y'all didn't even know that this person even had somebody at home that they went to every night. But you end up finding out. Or this person ended up telling you or whatever. But after a bunch of lies, you were just like, you know what? I need to do what's best for me. What's best for my heart is not what's, what's here. I'm going to go and go. What's this person's hidden truth? What's the hidden truth? Hidden truth? Yeah. I'm hearing, I'm seeing a couple like fighting, somebody telling them to get out. So this person may end up having to move soon. Or like I said, there's a, a breakup happening. The happy home is no longer a happy home. And I really feel like it's due to you because this person has not gotten over you. And it's obvious. Yeah, it's obvious. This person at one point used you as a distraction from their pain, which was their unhealthy, toxic relationship. This is somebody who hides behind material things. And they feel you even though that you all are apart. This is somebody who is still connected to you. This person knows that deep down inside that they're not the one for you, but they wish they could be. This person knows that you're leaving them behind. Meanwhile, they're trying to become a better person to win you back because you are the best thing in their life. And they're saying without a shadow of a doubt that you will be theirs again. They wish that things could be different. And they do see you dating new people. Don't think they don't. The timing wasn't right for y'all, though. And they know that they cross a line. But they do want you to know that they love you dearly. And mainly because you were able to penetrate places that other people couldn't. 
and they wonder if you're happy without them to the point where it makes them stay awake at night. The thought of you moving on to somebody else crushes them. This is somebody who loves you unconditionally and is afraid to contact you and wants you to know that, baby, they ain't let you go. And it's hard to let you go. Ooh, it's deep. This may be a little too deep. This is somebody who's in a loveless relationship in a relationship but have is in love with somebody else. I feel like this person even tried to work on their relationship but couldn't unlove you. This person can't unlove you. What is your current love life looking like, Collective? This person is trying to heal, but they're trying to become a better person that you'll be happy to even be with. That you'll be even proud to be with. This person wants to be trustworthy. Current love life for the Collective? Current love life? Current love life? Yeah, this per I feel like this person is trying to work on themselves, work on their morals and, you know, their belief system, get their self together so that they are a, a, a good suitor. Because this person wants you. They feel like they deserve your love and you deserve to be loved by them. This person even talks to their friends about you to get advice or just to vent on their pain of you not being there. This is somebody who sees a future with you. And wants another chance with you to make it up. Make up for lost time. This person wants a second chance. And they're even willing to let go. I feel like this person is also working on their control issues. So that you trust them and feel safe with them. This is somebody who's manifesting you in. And this could be the one. No lie. No lie. The feeling I'm getting is wrong. It's right person. Wrong timing. It's going to end up being your new love, though. But for some of y'all, y'all are going to decide to leave this person alone and release them and look for better. Because this person does have player tendencies that you can't trust. So it does make you a little shaky when it comes to feeling like you can't express your love to this person. So I get it. New love for the collective. New love. I'm walking on the sunshine. That's what you're doing. Walking on the sunshine. Single. Living your life. <laughs> Keeping your options open. And it's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Because if they're not worth dating, don't force it. New love life for the collective. New love life. Oh. Not for long. New love life for the collective. New love life. Yeah, you sing a lot <laughs> for now. <laughs> Somebody gonna come in showing you a bunch of passion. <laughs> this person may end up being controlling. Mm. They may have the same religious factors or they may not, but they're not gonna make you feel like, you know, you're completely cuckoo for what you believe in. You know what I mean? You, you feel me? This is somebody who's gonna be safe to love and they're gonna want something serious with you. This person's not gonna let you go. This person is gonna be very stalky, very controlling mainly because they have some issues that they haven't healed within themselves and they have a lot of, they're going to have a lot of feelings and chemistry towards you and it's going to make them scared that you're going to leave like this person not is the, this the thought in this person here in the back of this person here at all times is i hope this person doesn't leave me but anyway it's only because the, you're going to end up making this person really happy and what they've been used to is unrequited love and people who are just untrustworthy. But this person is going to see you as God sent like an angel. Sent for them. And they're going to want you to give them a chance. Because this person is going to put in effort. So keep an open mind when it comes to new love. Because this person is going to feel like you've already known them before. Mm, that's 
cute. Very soon, this person's coming in, so give them a chance. Give them a chance. You never know, T. They coming in either way. They coming in whether you like it or not. You're going to be expressing your love to somebody who you can trust. This person is going to be very trustworthy, very playful. You may end up feeling like this person may be a player because they may be attractive. Confirmation, but they're not. I feel like this person is going to even soothe over those thoughts of yours because they're going, I feel like y'all are going to talk a lot and they're going to, you know, express their intentions. But anyway, your ex is going to want to be back too. You know, your ex never leaves. They just hibernate. So they're going to be back too, hoping for a second chance. But this person ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. Let's get you some advice. Give me some advice. Yeah, this person that want to come back from the past ain't worth it. Give me some advice for the collective. Give me some advice for the collective. Give me some advice. This person's a foe. This person's lazy. This person's an opportunist, a player, a liar. <laughs> this is somebody who, um, oh, what is it? Like a romance scammer. They, they, this is a, front, a fronter, a person who put up a front like they have their life together, but their life is in shambles. This is somebody who sees you as a great choice in love, life, and in their own career. But this person truly has nothing to offer. And this person is a user. This person wants help out of their own situation. This is somebody who plays like they're a nice girl, nice guy. But use your intuition and know better. Because you know, why would you ever give this person from the past a chance again? They've shown you their true colors. That shows you that they couldn't be faithful to you and love you properly. Yeah. That shows you that all they care about is themselves. Me, myself, and I. That's all they care about. This is somebody who was a breadcrumber. Somebody who used their knowledge for <laughs> superficial gains. This is somebody who sees you as a leader, sees you as greatness meanwhile they couldn't hold a candle to you honestly you're out of this person's lead what do you benefit from this person but they benefit the world by being with you but yet this person is betraying you is a betrayer this person is a has a a sour heart like literally so if you choose to go take a chance with this person you're going to be giving more than you're giving because this person is truly a clown, truly childish, truly not ready for what you're about to put down. Somebody who truly don't even know or love themselves and has too many addictions to be standing next to you. Just saying. Let's get you some messages. Give me some messages for the collective. Give me some messages. Look up the number 20. That's maybe somebody's message. What's the message? Let go of past hurt. You got people in your past watching who, you, who you're who you becoming and what you have become. This person who wants to come back your way is currently being put on child support. Mm -hmm. God wants you to know that time is up for this person. Done. Then. They're done. This person underestimated you and they have mommy and daddy issues. They're also emotionally unavailable. <laughs> so don't go by what you see, go by your intuition. This person's also DL. But they want you to make up with them. They also admire your resilience and they will be drunk calling you really soon. Don't take a chance on this person. And don't believe nothing they say. Their apologies mean nothing. Nothing. And this person who, also this person who's with somebody already, know that their person is jealous of you. Because they know that truly this person wants to be with you. 
this person cannot be cannot handle being caught up because they're truly a selfish lover, a part-time gentleman. And this person, I won't be surprised if they try to trap you with a baby. So you won't be able to go nowhere. This person's controlling. And this person also uses their body in exchange for funds. You're being spiritually led to just do it when it comes to anything you want to do in your life. You deserve somebody devoted and be devoted to yourself, collective. Make it happen for you. But this person that wants you back is unsafe. Don't take a chance on them. Let's get you some angel messages and get you out of here. Give me some angel messages for the collective. Oh. Give me some angel messages for the collective. The collective. The collective. Your goals are within reach. So go for it. You're so close. Okay. And don't be afraid to help others who help you. Don't be selfish, because selfishness leads to lack. Be aware that this person that want to come back is a sly, sneaky snake. And you deserve somebody who's devoted, okay? When you feel like you don't know the truth, dig, go in, go in, take some time to yourself, and really sit with it. And you're going to end up hearing the truth. You're going to end up realizing what you need to do. Sometimes you gotta take time to reassess, especially when dealing with people. You need to start finding a, a, a work and life balance because you're overdoing it in both of them and you're tiring yourself out. You're not able to show up as your best self. Um, unhappiness breaking out of a drought and you need to uh, pause and introspect. I just said that. And God wants you to know that he does admire your, not only your resilience, but he admires the fact that you're able to adapt and overcome obstacles. He's proud of you. <laughs> Literally. Literally. But anyway, that's what I want to tell you is God proud of you, baby. That's what you need to know today. So, yeah, keep putting this person on the back burner. Don't deal. They're not worth it anyway. Yeah, and put yourself first. Always. I want to thank everybody who loves and supports me on a day-to-day -day basis. I see y'all, and I love y'all. I want to thank you for the cash app donations as well as the super thanks. And don't forget to book a personal reading with me. And I'll see y'all later. Oh, but let me not forget, you already know, your freaky deaky deaky sexual forecast for tonight, this Friday night, will be uploaded on OnlyFans tonight. So... Run, skip, and uh, holler over there. Bye.